Hi guys, today we are going to start with the part two of sorts, which is radicals. And we are going to be looking at rationalization of sorts. What is rationalization of sorts? Rationalization of sorts basically means changing the irrational denominator of a sort to a rational number. So let's move and start. The first thing we are going to be looking at under rationalization of sorts is rationalization of simple sorts. And how do we do this? I'm going to teach you by some few examples. Okay, so let me start with the examples. The first one, if you are asked to rationalize 3 over root 2, what do you do? Once you have a simple sort like this and you are supposed to rationalize, what you do to this is you are going to multiply the numerator by what is at the denominator, which is root 2, and of course multiply the denominator by 2. So you use the denominator to actually multiply both the numerator and the denominator. By so doing, you are going to have 3 times root 2 all over root 2 times root 2. This is done because when a sort uh, or a root of a number multiplies itself, it gives that number. That is, it changes from irrational to rational. So I'm going to have 3 root 2 all over root of 4, which is 3 root 2 all over 2. So I've rationalized it by changing the irrational denominator to a rational number. Number 2, now I can have 1 over root 2. Okay, the same thing I'm going to do here over root 2, then over root 2, and I'm going to have root 2 all over 2. That is my answer. The next one, I can have 3. I can have 4 root 2 all over root 6. Now, this will be uh, 4 root 2 over root 6. I'll multiply this by root 6 all over root 6. And my answer will be 4. Then root 2 times root 6 is going to be root 12 all over I have root of 36 and this is going to be 4 now root 12 can be written as uh, 2 root 3 okay all over 6 and this is 8 root 3 all over 6 and 2 here I have 4 2 here I have 3 and I'm gonna have 4 root 3 all over 3 then the last one, number four, I can have five root two all over two root three to rationalize. This is going to be times root of three all over root of three. And this is going to be five root six all over uh, two. Then I have root of nine which is 5 root 6 all over uh, 2 times 3, and it is 5 root 6 all over 6. So this is how it is being done. It's very simple, not hard at all, okay? Now let's go to the next, which is rationalization of compound sorts. Okay, rationalization of compound sorts. Example. What about if I'm asked to rationalize 1 plus root of 2 all over root of 2 plus root of 3? How do I do this? Now, why is this called a compound sort? It's because it comprises the addition of one of two or more sorts, okay? Now, what seems to be the case in this? To rationalize this, we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. And hence, we need to know what is the meaning of conjugate. 
conjugate of sword. Now, if you have a sword, a sword, then let's talk about the conjugate. Now, conjugate of a sword is another sword that when it multiplies the sword in question, everything changes to rational number. If I have 1 plus root 2, the conjugate of it is 1 minus root 2. So it's just like the application of difference of two squares. Okay, and how do I prove this? Do you know that 1 plus root 2 times 1 minus root 2 will be uh, 1 times 1 is 1, then 1 times uh, 2 is plus root 2, then root 2 times 1 is plus root 2. Okay. Uh, okay, sorry, this is minus. Okay, so let's, let's, let's have it. Let's, good. So this is minus, and this is plus root 2. Then root 2 times minus root 2, uh, gives you uh, minus 2. Now, if you check, this will cancel out. So it will be 1 minus 2 and the answer is minus 1. So you see, you've changed it to a rational number. So that is the conjugate of it. Now, it doesn't matter. Look at this. If I have 1 minus 1 minus root 2, the conjugate of it will be minus 1 plus root 2. Only the center changes when you're talking about conjugate. So I want to believe you've understood this. So let's go ahead and solve our question now. So from what we've done, the conjugate of this sort will be root 2 minus root 3. So we multiply it. So this is going to be root 2 minus root 3 all over root 2 minus root 3. Okay, so I'm, I've started the process of rationalizing. Now, this will now give me 1 plus root of 2 multiplied by root of 2 minus root of 3 all over. I have root of 2 plus root of 3 into root of 2 minus root of 3. All right. Now, working it out, I'm going to have 1 times root of 2 is root of 2. The 1 times minus root of 3 is minus root of 3. Then minus root of 2 times root of 2 will give me plus 2. Then uh, root of 2 times minus root of 3 uh, will give me um, minus root of 6. So I'm done with that aspect. Then I will now come down to this. All right. Um, I have root 2 times root 2 is 2. Root 2 times minus root 3 is um, minus root 6. Then root 3 times plus root 2 is plus root 6. Then root, then root 3 times minus root 3 is minus 3. All right. So um, I am going to have 2, okay, plus root of 2 minus root of 3 minus root of 6 all over if you check these two cancel out okay so i'm going to have 2 minus 3 so my answer will be 2 plus root 2 minus root 3 minus root 6 then all over uh, minus 1 which we can write as minus 1 into 2 plus root of 2 minus root of 3 minus root of 6. And better still, you can fix it so that you are going to have um, root of 3 plus root of 6 minus root of 2, then minus 2. The, this is the answer. So this is how to actually uh, rationalize um, uh, compound sorts. Now, on this video or in this video, You've seen how to rationalize simple sort. You've known what conjugate of sort is. And I want to believe now you've known how to rationalize compound sort. Do not forget to subscribe. Keep watching and follow me for more interesting math videos.